In this video, we're going to look at how to create timesheets, create leave requests, and create expenses for your employees. We also look at how we can improve each of those things. If your employees are set up to use employee self-service, either through the web portal or the WorkZone app, which is available for iOS and Android devices, the employee can create timesheets, expenses, and leave requests themselves. This video looks at how we can do it on their behalf and then how we can do the approval. Start by clicking on the Manage Employees tab and go to Create Timesheets. We can create a timesheet on behalf of an employee. Choose an employee from the menu that's enabled for timesheets. I'm going to choose Jane. Select a week. And then you start with a blank timesheet. You can select a work type that's appropriate. You don't have to select a work type, but if something is appropriate here, you can choose it. I'm going to choose casual weekday hours. And put a start and end time. You can use shorthand. 9am is represented by 9a, and pressing tab will convert that to 9am. If the finishing time is 5.30pm, I could write 530p. You can also add an unpaid break. An unpaid break will reduce the duration of the shift. I'm going to put a break in here from 12 to 12.30. And select a location. If you don't select a location, it'll default to the employee's primary location. In this case, I'm going to select bar 1. And that's entering a timesheet line. You can hold down the shift button and drag that along and use the little square in the bottom right corner to fill the other lines. Make changes as you need to. Up the top, you'll see a track of the total number of shifts and the duration of the timesheets for this week. We can also use a copy paste function. Here I can press Ctrl C, go down to another line and press Ctrl V and make changes as needed. Once you're happy with those, you can click save. Or if you use the drop down menu, you can save and improve straight away. For now I'm just going to click save. There are a few other options from the actions menu. One thing we can do is copy timesheets from a previous week. So if you have fairly consistent timesheets from one week to the next, that's a great time saver. Another thing you can do is add another timesheet line. Say, for example, on Saturday, we had to work in the front bar after 2 p.m. Add a line to Saturday, click Add, and fill in the remainder of the shift. Click save when you're done. We can also approve timesheets. If you click on manage employees and approve timesheets, you come to the timesheet approval screen. This can be grouped differently and filtered, so we could group by employee or by location, whatever is appropriate. We can also filter by the status of the shift, by the employee or by the location. You can choose at this stage whether you want to show or hide timesheet costs. In this case, I'm going to show timesheet costs. And that gives me an interpreted column of shift costs on the right hand side. At this stage, I can approve all four timesheets. If I click the pen off to the right, I can make changes to any of these details as I need to. I can also reject the timesheets, which potentially, based on the settings, will send a message back to the employee or I can delete the timesheets altogether. I can also hold down the control button or the command button on a Mac computer and select individual groups. Only approved timesheets are included in the pay run. So it's worth checking before you run each pay run as to whether the timesheets have actually been approved for this week. Next we're going to look at leave requests. Again, if you click on Manage Employees and Create Requests, we can put in a request on behalf of an employee. I'm going to choose Mario and select some Manual Leave, which is going to be taken from the 23rd 
through to the 29th. The system will work out an estimate of the number of leave hours required. It will factor in the standard hours of the employee and any public holidays that there are between these two dates. It will also predict how much leave will be accrued between now and the date that's being requested, show you any overlapping leave requests, and if it goes in a negative, warn you that it actually is a negative. I can attach a document to a leave request, so that might be handy for personal carers leave where we need to put in a doctor's certificate. And if I leave this ticked, I'll approve immediately. I'm going to untick that for now and click save. It's warning me that the employee doesn't have enough leave. And that takes me to the manage request screen. In manage requests, similar to the approved timesheet screen, I can make edits. Accept it, reject it, or delete it. In the calendar view, if I remove the pending leave request filter, I can see a complete list of leave requests and the dates that have been taken. Here it's showing me that Howard's taking leave from the 20th to the 26th, and Mario overlaps that leave by taking leave on the 23rd to the 29th. It's a handy way to have an overview assessment of resourcing requirements for the organisation. If you go back to list, I'm going to press the tick button to approve this leave request. Expense reimbursements work a very similar way to leave. If we click on manage employees and go down to expenses, I can create an expense request. Here I can select an employee, the description, then I can enter a date expense category. I only have one category set up here. Expense categories can be linked to profit or loss items on the chart of accounts. I can select a location or use the, the employee's primary location. I can add a note. Choose a tax code that's appropriate and an amount. Again, I can add an attachment, which could be a PDF or a photo of a receipt or something like that. I can tick Approve immediately. I'm going to leave that unticked and click Create. That takes me to the Approve Expense Request screen. Here, I can make edits, reject, delete, or approve. I'm going to tick the Approve button. Now, my leave, expenses, and timesheets will all be reflected in the next pay run.